interweb mashup for Saturday, uh, December 12th, uh, 2009. And um, this is Jeff, and we're going to look at some of my favorite websites today. I haven't had time to do a mashup in a couple weeks, and so I thought I'd do a video one because I'm playing with my new toys. So here's the homepage of our site, but we are going to quickly go to GameInYourWay.com first. So first of all, at GameInYourWay.com, that is blog.GameInYourWay.com, because you can't see it on this uh, small little screen, we have their Twitter cloud, and the biggest thing on their Twitter cloud, these are things that they've written, um, the, uh, they've written the word game the most, followed by, I think, the word shit, um, actually is up there, and I think um, hell and fuck are pretty, pretty uh, um, close. They're sweet and mate. Um, I don't see Zar Jazz, so, you know, I'm still stuck in the 80s, but they're not. Um, let's go down um, to the next thing I really wanted to focus on, which was the beta of their RTS game, Ionic, which is just utterly fantastic. It's just a beta, but it looks great. Um, this is from 1127, and we'll just take a quick look at Ionic, uh, and you should go to GameInYourWay.com to take a look at this, but I'm going to shut up while you just feast on Ionic. Everything about this is is uh, makes me think Amiga on steroids. Anyway, uh, it's an RTS. There's a lot you can do. I don't even know uh, enough about what to do about with this game, but um, I, yeah. Anyway, it, you, you want to play this? You don't want to take my word for it. Next up is um, another one of my favorite sites, and let's take a look at it right now. The great header, PhotonStorm.com, run by the incomparable Richard Davey, the greatest Atari ST fan in the entire world. And he works for Armin Digital, Ardman, excuse me, Ardman Digital, um, and um, there is a profile of them in .NET Magazine this month, so we'll send a link over to that. Also, uh, Richard has a very interesting... Uh, write up on using the SVN for um, for Photoshop, um, and uh, obviously um, uh, using uh, Subversion is a very good idea for anyone who doesn't want to uh, lose all of their work. Um, and then this is what I really want to talk about, which was his game. You can't play it yet, um, but he has um, some fantastic pixel work done by a pixel artist. And the game is called The Bird. And it, I assume it looks a little bit like a shooter of some sort. Um, it's another one of Richard's spare time arcade games, and he does a fantastic job at those. So we'll send a link over to that, too. Take a look for it in the text below. Next up is a look at uh, Ian Lobb's blog. Um, first up on here from uh, a couple weeks ago is the eight things that annoy him the most about Action Script 3. I want you to read his blog, so I'm not going to uh, tell you them all, but some of them that I agree with wholeheartedly, obviously all of them, but some of them, the fact that there's no key is down, um, we found ways to mitigate that, but still. Um, the Another one is you can't tell if the mouse is hidden. It's a big pain in the ass. Um, the timeline can't destroy movie clips, only remove them from the stage. Um, pretty much, he doesn't like a lot about Action Script 3. And one thing I can't stand, and that's not on this list, is the fact that I still can't get that event to fire off when a sound has stopped playing. Um, anyway, more on Ian's. Let's scroll down a little bit. Um, ah, this one I went through before, but this is using GitHub for his source control. Um, which is actually a really good source control on the same um, vein as Richard Davies um, article on using subversion okay all right the next site we're gonna hit is freelanceflashgames.com that was updated regularly for a lot for quite a number of years um, with multiple posts per day um, now I think that uh, he settled down a little bit but there's a fantastic little article on three steps to streamline your game development like the pros I'm not going to read them all, but you can check out the link. I'll just tell you one, making reusable code. Obviously, that's a big deal to me. I try to do as much as I can, but it should be a big deal for you also. And if you're a pro, you already know. All right. Um, now we get to Michael James Williams' blog. 
I'm a big fan of Michael. He always has great stuff up. And the one new thing that I'd like to highlight on his is a fantastic intro to Paper Vision 3D that he wrote. And it's a two-parter. And the second part is even better. It's uh, an intro into how to create images that will work with 3D glasses. Um, I'm not even quite sure how that would work, but it's there. Um, I'm going to have to dig into reading this later, but check out the link below and have yourself a fantastic read who works at the basement uh, in, India, in Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, very interesting article here on, he's reading through the, the EULA runtime restrictions, and um, you can read the entire thing. The interesting thing about it is, I think it has a lot to do with Apple. That's all I have to say. Um, because it basically states that you can play 10.1 on PCs and some mobile devices. I think they're just protecting themselves from the juggernaut that is the iPhone at the moment. Um, but you can read through this and have your own opinion. I don't exactly know, but I think Mark's onto something here. So one last thing I want to go through, which is not Flash game related, but should be of interest to anyone who makes games, is the Retro Gaming Times Monthly Magazine. Um, I've written one article for this, um, and it was for the Atari ST. And they never asked me back. I think it's because it was too long. Um, I, I bet if I emailed Brian, he would let me write something again, but I haven't any time. But it could be that he doesn't want me. Anyway, the interesting thing about this, and I'll, the link is down there, but it is www.retrogamingtimes.com. There's a whole bunch of really interesting Christmas stories about receiving your first video game. Um, and uh, I think you should read them. There's at least two. There's two or three. It's a very interesting episode um, issue. And um, that's my off topic for the week. Uh, so anyway, thank you for taking a look at this mashup. And next time we'll take a look at some different websites that we didn't take a look at this time. Specifically, we'll take a look at Joke Maker and some of the guys from Electro Tank. See what they have, where they're up to, if anything. And um, other sites... Take a look at what Mochi's up to, um, some more games. Anyway, until next time, thanks for visiting.